coronavirus impacts people, politics, and power. Thoughts during lockdown. Imagine what a government can do with just 24 hours of most people locked in at home and others only on their way to or from work or urgent tasks. Think of all the changes they could implement. Maybe add a few cameras here and there. Maybe change some intersections direction. Maybe increase their presence on the street a little. Maybe restrict access to certain additional streets, buildings, beaches, parks, mountains, forests, rivers, streams, or other areas they might govern. Now imagine what most of the world's powerful governments could do, if they implement a hodgepodge policy of doing this for weeks at a time in each country, for a period lasting a few months, if not longer. Now imagine a scenario in which any time someone gets sick from eating a bat in China, the rest of the world obeys the latest orders to shut themselves in, for however long it takes, until the government says otherwise. Now imagine how quickly people might lose any financial safety net that they had. Now imagine how fast folks could become dependent on government handouts in such a situation. Now imagine a narrative in which it is a very convenient excuse to blame all of the collapse of the economy on a virus. Now imagine politicians scrambling to exploit this situation. Now imagine a situation in which manufacturing is nationalized and militarized. Now imagine a scenario where you do not have free and unfettered access to your fiat currency, your cash money, in your bank account. Do you imagine that this will be a good scenario? Do you imagine that this is a scenario you will accept? Or will you stand up and voice your honest and reasonable concerns in such a way that gives gravitas to your argument? Or will you just accept this situation because you are just scared and clueless? Oh wait, you don't have to imagine any of it. This is the situation we are all in now. And what exactly is happening that is good by way of the lockdowns? How is it helping? Seriously. Ask yourself if this is the kind of world you want from here on out. Because the changes are being made and accepted, for better or worse. What I think of the coronavirus lockdowns. Personally, I understand the idea of the lockdown but in actual practice, it's a farce in most, if not all places. What I hope will happen. Not that it matters one bit what I hope for, but what the heck. You're reading this. Maybe you're even stuck at home while you're reading this. Or maybe you're reading this from some point in the future, wondering, this is hilarious. So I may as well share. I hope better policies that actually help the situation are implemented ASAP. Policies like, 1. Develop and distribute vaccine ASAP whatever the resources it requires. 2. Produce more protective masks and gear for first responders, health workers, and infected people. 3. Make enough testing kits for everyone. 4. Make more ventilators and other equipment, meds and supplies as required for sick people. And I hope that more people will soon realize the value of using decentralized, immutable, uncensorable, unconfiscatable currencies like Bitcoin and Litecoin, as well as other good uses for crypto altcoins like Ethereum, Ethlite Crypto, Maker and others. Making the most of your COVID-19 quarantines. It's easy to be cynical of the situation, especially if you are stressed, locked up, frustrated, perhaps even upset or angry about your lack of normality in your daily life. Rather than do that, if forced to take time off, then learning new subject matter, gaining new skills, improving existing ones, taking care of things that normally get a backseat in the priorities list, these are the times that naturally lend themselves to growing and advancing your quality of life by leaps and bounds, while most do only as they are told, and just wait their time away. My hippy dippy outro. To borrow from John Lennon, you may say I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only one. That's my two Satoshis, anyway. The opinions expressed in this editorial are solely those of Yasha Harari and are for entertainment and idea sharing purposes only. None of the ideas or opinions expressed in this piece are in any way financial advice. Investing and trading are risky. You could and probably will lose everything, especially if you do not know what you are doing. You should always do your own research before and whenever you invest in anything. And you should never invest anything or any amount that you cannot afford to lose. For more about Yasha Harari and crypto marketing insights, subscribe to Yasha Harari on yashaharari.com and on YouTube, Library, Twitter. Facebook, and LinkedIn. Thank you for watching and listening to Crypto Marketing Insights with Yasha Harari. Narrated by Amy McIntosh.
he is hoping that the world recovers quickly. Whatever happens, we'll be here to cover the things we think are important to share with the world, whether you like, share comment and subscriber, or not. We don't care about the YouTube algos. Those who want to find us, do. We make this content and give it to you for free, because we want to give you our insights, so that you may critique, comment on and maybe even consider the perspective that may indeed differ from yours. Until next time, take care. Thank you.